welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be flying the up air with the 360 degree camera and the tri-props on it. Actually, we're going to be doing a dual camera uh, flight. we got a ship out there we're going to attempt to fly on. So, uh, let's go ahead and put this guy up in the air and get some video. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That wasn't good, folks. For some reason, we had a little bit of a mishap there. So, let's, uh... That was a rather interesting dilemma. So I'm not sure what the hell went on there. So one of the things though, <laughs> you can see it ate up the tree, but yet uh, we, we have the uh, huh, carbon fiber tripops are still in place after coming in contact with a tree. Uh, just making sure everything is... Still copacetic here. Uh, make sure all this is still recording. I'm not sure quite what happened there. That was rather interesting. So that was rather interesting. So let's go ahead and let's uh, give this a try again and see what happens uh, after that kind of craziness. Let me see here. Is this tightness back up? So I don't know what the what the heck that was all about. Okay, let's uh, give this a second shot. So let's see if we... Let it hover. So it seems to be doing better now. I don't know what that craziness was before. So let, let's kind of yaw it around. See if we can compass calibrate it a little bit. So let's yaw it back around the other way. Hopefully we're getting video. So let's take it out. Let's take it out over the lake a little bit. Let's see if we just get it to hover out there. She's buffeting against the wind a little bit. I want to take it up a little bit higher. She's definitely very snappy with that. So we got the pilot boat out there. We got that ship out there. So uh, hopefully we're catching some video of that. Take it up a little bit. So we got the ship over there headed up lake. We got the pilot boat. What happens with that uh, pilot boat out there? Let me see, make sure this is recording. Yep. So with the pilot boat out there, as international ships come down into this channel, they send a pilot out there to, to help guide the ship, navigate the ship down through the river. And then the pilot boat comes and picks him up. So she's doing pretty good now. I don't know what that other... Uh, problem was why it kind of did that kind of off if you will 
but uh, it did. So uh, let's take let's take it out a little bit further. Um, I don't know if he's going out there. If that pilot boat pilot boat shouldn't be going out for the tug, I don't think, because uh, usually those guys are just um, you know work the area here and kind of you know push things up and down. So we're out there. Uh, Let's take it up a little bit. So one of the things I like doing is coming out here and, you know, without all the screens and things like that and just really flying line of sight here um, and shooting some video versus, you know, when I was out here the other day, I sort of got lost up the lake here. And uh, by shooting it this way, it's just kind of a little bit more raw flying. And that, that's what's uh, a bit more fun, I think, about this, just flying it this way. Now, one of the things, I am working out a new FPV setup. Now, he does seem to be rendezvousing with the boat out there. So, uh, so he must be picking up uh, a pilot from there. So, uh, I must stand corrected. So, anyways, I'm up there. Uh, I don't know how far. I'm guessing probably uh, 80, 90 feet up. Let me take it up a little bit more. See if we can get some more video. And because uh, that nice thing with that 360 camera filming the front of it, we're you know we can kind of look around in the video frame a little bit. Now I also have the other camera, hopefully recording on the back of the copter, so uh, you know that's going in there. So again, just kind of yaw it around, get some get some video. I think I'm facing down Lake now. That's again the one thing problem. So. So uh, again, I have to I have to figure out my direction from the way I push the push the stick. So as you can see, I'm I'm pointing out this way. So I'm moving off to this direction uh, as I push the stick back. So then, as I yaw it back around, I'm actually pushing it out a little bit. So see, I'm heading back down. And if I spin this around, because the 360 degree camera is actually so big, I can uh, pretty much see it from the ground here. I'm probably a good, uh, it's probably a good thousand feet out or so. Still well within my sight. You see the uh, pilot boat out there coming back. So I must have picked up the pilot. And so it's coming back. I want to make sure I'm. I think I'm getting the pilot boat. I think I'm uh, pointed in that direction. Uh, if not, so I'm keeping it out there. One of the things I do, I, I think I do need to add. Now, when I do the FPV mod to this, uh, I am going to add um, the camera has got a built-in OSD, so I'll be able to read the voltage of this and also see this on the screen again. So that'll be kind of nice because I'm depending right now upon the low voltage uh, in, in the copter itself to bring it back. And so, uh, so again, let's spin it around. So I think I'm getting the, the, the boat in there. So it's hanging out over there. So again, very nice. It's just setting up. Uh, again, I've got no idea why that crashed, but I tell you what, that had to, that was very impressive. Those carbon fiber props ran into a tree and stood up to that tree. So that definitely is pretty impressive in my book. And so uh, let's spin it around a little bit. So I have to be seeing the, so I'm chasing the pilot boat now a little bit, as you see, I'm bringing it down. Actually, actually the interesting thing is the copter is gaining on the pilot boat. So I don't know if you can see that, I'm gaining actually on the pilot boat. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool.
So the one thing is that the, where I have a bit of a problem is perspective because when the copter starts coming back towards me, it looks like it's standing still in the sky because it's keeping its perspective. So that's one of the pieces I have a little bit of a problem with. So I think it's actually... So I've actually got to tack it a little bit to bring it back. And this is one of the things where I really like to return to home. So uh, I'm going to do just a little bit more yawing out here. Just to share some of the panoramic views with you guys. We got the ship coming up, going up lake. It's kind of watching my stuff over there. There's a number of people on the beach. So, but this, I tell you what, this is just great fun to fly like this. It's really simple. Throw it in the car, come out here, fly it. And then, hey, when you get tired, you just push this switch and guess what happens? This thing starts to come back. So I tell you what, the return to home feature is just, I, you know, I tell you what, I really don't want a serious quad without it because I tell, it, it just makes it so much easier. And so, as you can see, it's starting to come back to its launch area. I'm going to actually stop it a little bit before the launch area. I'm going to stop it right about there. And I want to bring it down. And just bring it down a little bit. You can see it sideways. So I'm actually sticking it sideways. So it's actually facing down. And let's spin it around. So here I am in 360 degrees. Well, 360 by 220 anyway. So uh, that's what that looks like. Let's bring it down a little bit more. I want to see the, the battery lights on it. I want to take another look at it when it's flying. Again, for, for hitting that tree and that impact, I am really surprised at what, what shape it's still in. So again, all, all's looking pretty good. Uh, looks like I'm, I'm down to my last bar. So, uh... I'm going to bring it down. So now, now, boy, I tell you, that, that, that gets punchy with that up throttle. I think it's wanting to do a, re it's wanting to do a land. All right, yeah, that little uh, uptick, I think, was the, uh, um, return to home on low battery voltage. So, hey, we've got a, we had another very interesting flight of the up air. We crashed into a tree, basically recovered from it, took it out for a great flight over the lake, no issues. Carbon fiber props, I tell you what, folks, well worth it. I also love the tri-prop uh, configuration. I'm going to probably convert the Phantom over. I'm going to order another set of these for the Phantom. I'm really liking these tri-props very smooth uh, flight it gives it extra lift and so hey anyways um, subscribe's coming up over there don't forget the thumbs up smash it below let me know in the comments what you think uh, about my tree crash about the flight over the lake ah, just about what you had for lunch today is I guess good so anyways we'll see you in the next video cheers